हे वॉट इज अप इंटरनेट वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल सो गूगल हैज़ फाइनली रिलीज द थर्ड डिवेलपर प्रिव्यू फॉर द पिक्सल डिवाइस इन द गूगल आई ओ ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन एंड जस्ट लाइक वी सॉ इन द लास्ट ईयर गूगल हैज पार्टनर विद अदर मैनुफैक्चर एज वेल टू रिलीज द थर्ड डिवेलपर प्रिव्यू फॉर अदर डिवाइस लाइक द वन प्लस सिक्सटी सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी टेकिंग अ लुक एट द एंड्रॉड क्यू ऑन वन प्लस सिक्सटी आई एल टेल यू हाउ टू इंस्टॉल इट ऑन द वन प्लस सिक्सटी एंड इफ इट इज स्टेबल फॉर योर डेली यूज सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर डू लेट्स get started So to install the Android Q on your 60, you have to first download the Android Q zip file from the OnePlus website. I'll leave a link in the description box below. And secondly, you need to make sure that you have backed up all your user data because this method will wipe all your user data. So make sure you do that. There is a nifty way of backing up your OnePlus device through the OnePlus Switch app. I'll again leave a link in the description box below in case you need to check that out. And once you have done that, now go ahead and go to settings. then you scroll down to system and then you choose system update and then you'll see this uh, gear icon on the top right corner hit that and then choose local upgrade and then choose the file you have just downloaded from the OnePlus website after you do that the OnePlus 60 will automatically install the Android Q update and I'll fast forward this footage in the interest of time So yes guys finally my OnePlus 60 has booted it up into the Android Q but keep in mind that this is a developer preview and it will be not as stable as the official version and OnePlus ne kafi clearly apni website mein mention kiya hua hai ki that there are a bunch of things that will not work on this version like uh, the portrait mode in the camera will not work the ambient display will not work the encryption will change in the next version and there might be some stability issues as well So in terms of the general interface Android Q is very similar to Android Pie as you can see uh, the whole quick settings toggle and the app drawer is very similar to Android Pie and if you just go to settings and see it's running on Android 10 which is Android Q uh, and as you would have noticed I have already enabled dark theme on the OnePlus 60 so yes Android Q does bring a native whole dark theme to all the devices which runs on it but although oneplus users ko is pe zara farak nahi padega because oxygen os have had a dark theme for a couple of years now also the dark theme will get activated as soon as you enable the battery saving mode because uh, devices that run on amoled screen will save a lot on battery while running on dark theme but that said you can always toggle between light and dark theme while going into settings and then display Android Q also brings a lot more control on the privacy so uh, unlike in Android Pie now the privacy settings is right up there in the main settings menu as you can see and uh, now also if you go inside this menu you'll see that you'll have more control on each of the apps usage so you can set different permissions for different apps according to you and you can also monitor the recent usage of all the apps in terms of services there is also a thing called location reminders which is new to android q so whenever an app is using your location in the background uh, your device will keep on reminding that if you want to allow this app to keep on using the location in the background Uh, for the gestures android q does bring a new set of gestures uh, and it does ditch the back button but unfortunately uh, oneplus ke is developer preview mein gesture navigation mein sirf three button control hi milta hai we don't get the full gesture control again i think oxygen os mein ye already has so i'm not sure why oneplus ne ye include nahi kara Uh, for the fingerprint scanner i did test out the fingerprint scanner and it worked just fine for me although again you don't get face unlock so please keep in mind before installing this android q developer preview on your 60 Now if we go ahead and move on to the camera the camera interface is quite similar to that on the Android Pie but as i mentioned before the portrait mode will not work on this version so if you click a lot of portraits you should not install this developer preview now Android Q will bring a lot more features as we close into the official launch uh, there is something called smart replies which will be integrated 
to your native messaging app as well as other third party messaging apps like WhatsApp and also Google is planning to roll out security updates and patches via Google Play Store with Android Q. So I think this is a breakthrough feature in my opinion for faster Android updates. For my opinion on this version of developer preview for the OnePlus 60, I think it's not as stable as you would have expected for your daily usage because I experienced a lot of lags and app crashes and I'm also not expecting a great battery life out of this version of developer preview. So if you have never installed a custom ROM or you are not into testing and or softwares, I will not recommend you to install this developer preview on the 60 and you would might want to wait for the official Android queue. If in case you want to roll back to your stable Android Pie version, make sure you only download the full downgrade zip which OnePlus has again given on its forums. I'll again leave a link in the description box below and the process is again simple. You go and download that file, you save it in the root directory, you go to system updates, you choose local upgrade and your 60 will install android by stable version so yes guys this was a quick video on the android q on the oneplus 60 and i know this was a developer preview and it was not expected to be stable but still what do you guys think about this and would you go ahead and install it on your 60 do let us know in the comment section below and do hit that like button if you like this video and make sure you subscribe to tq net so that i keep on making such videos for you guys every Every week. So till then keep asking and I'll see you in the next one.